Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericanMuscle.com here with my review of the Air Raid Cold Air Intake with a Synthamax Dry Filter available for the 2015 and up V6 Mustang. The Air Raid Cold Air Intake is going to be for the S550 V6 owners out there who are looking for a top of the line closed element cold air intake that also keeps the direct cold air feed that Ford has created from factory but that doesn't necessarily require a computer retune. A cold air intake is oftentimes one of the first mods for many Mustang owners, but there are a handful of different options out there and factors to consider like open element or closed air box. The Air Raid is one of the options that are available out there right now that brings some of the most benefits to the table without requiring a tune. Speaking of gains, let's break the numbers down first before getting into the intake. We already ran a baseline run and got some numbers in the book, so we're going to run the car again with the Air Raid installed. Now we did pair a 93 octane Bamba performance tune with the intake, even though the intake does not require a tune, but we wanted to see the full potential that the intake has. A cold air intake by itself will only net a few horsepower at the end of the day, and we're talking single digits here, so even if an aftermarket intake does not necessarily require a tune, we always recommend a tune if you're looking for any gains or improvements from your Mustang. Our baseline run with our 2015 V6 gave us numbers of 241 horsepower and 235 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels. With the air raid intake and the 93 octane Bama performance tune, the car made 259 horsepower and 249 foot-pounds of torque, making for a peak gain of 18 horsepower and 14 foot-pounds of torque. Now keep in mind that we did pair the intake with a tune, so a lot of these gains can definitely be attributed to that tune. And I always say this, but peak gains are nice to know, but the real thing I look for is going to be differences throughout the curve here or in your driving RPMs, which is what you're actually going to notice performance-wise when you're driving. And throughout the curve, we're seeing gains of 21 horsepower in the 6100 RPM range and 20 pounds of torque right in the 3600 RPM range. So the low end torque gain is something that you're going to notice more than the upper RPM power gain. The torque gain is something that you're going to feel every gear that you run above 3600 RPMs. Now, like I just said, keep in mind that a lot of the gains that we are seeing are due to the tune that we paired with the intake. So with this intake, we're seeing power being made up top for the factory air intake system and filter become restrictive. Without a tune, like I said before, you'll see a two to three horsepower gain, but you also have to keep in mind that the more you mod the car, the more restrictive the factory intake becomes. Another thing to note here is the low intake air temps, and those can be attributed to the sealed air box, which I'll talk about in a minute. If we take a closer look at the air raid itself, one of the main differences other than the construction is the dry Synthamax filter. Normally you see a filter that is reusable, but that needs to be re-oiled. This filter here is not a normal cotton element filter. It's a synthetic nanofiber material that filters particles that a normal cotton element filter cannot, and they don't need oil either. Also, you have a choice of color here with the option of either a blue, red, or black filter. The intake is rotomoted plastic construction throughout, even with the enclosed filter housing and the intake tube for smooth air delivery to the engine. And speaking of the intake tube, this is one of the larger intake tubes for the S550 V6. One of the big things that I wanted to point out with this intake though is the housing here. First of all, it's enclosed, which you're only going to see from the other option of CNL right now. The enclosed air box is going to protect the filter from elements within the engine compartment as well as help keep warm air from inside the compartment from being used by the engine. And like I mentioned earlier, we saw some of the lowest intake air temps with this intake on the dyno due to this style of housing. It is a one-piece roto-molded box that also has a unique shape. The shape of the air box improves the airflow around the entire filter, and this leads me to the other cool thing about the housing, and that's that it taps into the factory cold air duct, which brings cool air in from the grill instead of using warm engine compartment air. This is a really nice feature in my opinion, and gives this intake a benefit that you don't see from many other aftermarket intakes for the S550 V6s. It also has a nice plexiglass lid that is removable, so you can get to the filter easily or see the filter without having to take the air box apart. As far as price point with this intake, this is one of the higher quality options that has one of the best fit and finishes out of all of the aftermarket cold air intakes for the S550 V6. And so it doesn't come as a surprise that this intake is going to cost a little bit more than the average cold air intake option. It costs a little over $350, which actually isn't even the most expensive option on the site. And like I mentioned earlier, this particular intake does not require a tune, which means that you can just bolt it up and go if you want to. But if you're looking for gains and improvements in drivability, then just know that any improvements that you'll see from the intake can be greatly amplified by running a tune, just as a side note. 
As for the install, it's nothing too difficult and the intake will come with all of the items that you'll need including clamps, couplers, and hardware. All you really need to complete the install is a 10 mil, a flathead for the plastic pins, and some pliers to remove the hose clamps. This is probably one of the easier mods that you can tackle with your new Mustang and will probably take about a half hour or an hour tops, and I'm going to call it a one out of three wrenches on our scale. You can start by disconnecting the two breather hoses from the inlet tube. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the airbox that holds it to the inner fender and detach the airbox from the lower inlet tube on the side of the rad as you take out the airbox. Loosen the clamps on the inlet tube at the throttle body in the airbox and then remove the inlet tube. Then you're gonna want to ready your new airbox by installing the filter adapter. Next, install the aluminum fitting for the air hose to the intake tube. Then you're ready to install the airbox to the car, starting with the air duct sliding into the factory location and reinstall the factory bolt to hold it down. Once the airbox is in and bolted down, slide the coupler onto the adapter on the airbox. Then slide the other coupler onto the throttle body. Just make sure that you adjust all the clamps so you can tighten them down, but leave everything loose for now. Install the inlet tube into the coupler on the throttle body and then onto the air filter coupler. Tighten down the clamps so everything is tight. Connect the vacuum hoses to the inlet tube, install the airbox cover, and tighten that down. Wrapping things up here, I think the Aerith Synthamax cold air intake is an enclosed airbox intake that is a well-built intake that taps into the factory cold air duct that Ford has provided for the intake. It looks good under the hood and has a reusable dry air filter that performs better than the normal cotton element aftermarket air filter and the intake does not require a tune. You can check this intake out more online for yourself and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericaMuscle.com.